Hey there, Limit here. After 151 hours, we have finally completed the prototype. In case you're new here, this is Project J. Eisen, my attempt at an AI VTuber like Nurosama that eventually anyone can try. Since the last video, I've managed to fix all the obvious bugs and added some new features so it finally has everything it needs to start streaming. This means I'm officially done with this prototype. But that doesn't mean Project J.E. Eisen is done yet. Oh, no, 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 no. We're just getting started. Stick around till the end for a special announcement alongside my future plans. As for right now, I want to take a trip down memory lane and see all the things that we've done up until this point. I started working on Project J.E. Eisen on June 12th. Oh my god, I didn't realize it's been that long. The origins of this project actually goes back even further though, all the way back until about a month or two after Neurosama's debut. If you want to hear about that story, let me know in the comments. I had six main features I knew I needed in order to make the bare minimum AI VTuber. In the first video, I started out by making the Discord bot. This would be the sixth time I've made a Discord bot for this exact purpose, but it's actually the first time for a video and the first time with audio capabilities. So I did it in a language called JavaScript and connected it to ChatGPT. But I ran into problems when it came to recording speech through the library that I was using at the time, Discord.js. That prompted me to switch over to a new language, Python, using the library PyCord. And it was the first time that I used PyCord, but man was the change good. I made a Discord bot that you can text to ChatGPT with, have it join a voice call to play sound, <laughs> and even record each member in a voice call into their own separate audio files. And that only took about 12 hours over the course of a month. Man, I procrastinated hard with that one. And then learning to edit and make the first video took over a hundred hours. So my first video didn't come out until September 15. Hey, don't get me wrong. I still think that video might be my best one. But if I want to make progress on this project, I got to spend more time coding and less time on, well, everything else. Luckily, the next month and a half of my life had nothing going on. And during that time, I managed to customize ChatGPT-like AI models and even run them on my own machine. It was still very basic at the time, and they were trained on my own Discord conversations. But even with the little amount of data I managed to scrape together, it was surprisingly effective. Since then, I've been exclusively using OpenAI's GPT models fine-tuned on my own data. And it's been very cheap. Trying three different implementations and creating my own data, all of that only took 25 hours with another 5 on top of that if you include downloading and training times. After that, we moved on to the dreaded text-to-speech. I have a history with this part well before the start of Project J.E. Eisen, and it's the entire reason this project even exists. I once again failed to make a custom synthesized voice and had a hard time getting good results with direct AI text-to-speech. But I eventually got a workaround by using the RVC project to use AI to voice change speech generated by existing synthesizers or AI text-to-speech from OpenAI. There's actually a lot I've learned since then, and it's actually something I'll be immediately revisiting in the new year. But even how I did things back then were still serviceable, and I even tried my hand at contributing to the open source for the first time, even though there hasn't really been an update on that since then. This all took another 20 hours outside of download times. Up next came speech-to-text. This was added to the list a little later after the first video because I started to realize that this part might be a little bit more complicated than I thought. While turning an audio recording into text was easy, the question was when do you stop recording? When do you know the speaker has stopped speaking? Well in order to do that, I ended up once again switching the library that I used to make my Discord bot, changing it from PyCore to Discord.py. This wasn't too hard since PyCore was based off of Discord.py, but there were a number of features I needed to figure out how to re-add back into the bot like basic slash commands. With that, and the extensions it had available, I was able to tell when people in the Discord call stopped talking and process audio the way I wanted to process audio. But I also knew people, namely me, tend to pause when they speak. So I gave my AI the ability to remain silent, which I totally did not come to regret in the slightest. My AI is still fucking dumb and won't respond to me sometimes. All of that, and it only took me the same amount of time that it took me to make the Discord bot the first time. So hey, at least I'm learning something. With that, we have the ability to have a full-on conversation with our AI. But this was just an AI, not an AI VTuber. So it's time for me to boot up VTube Studio for the first time and give my AI a model. I... How do I open the sidebar? My idea was to use an AI talking head or a model of a head animated to speech and have VTube Studio track that instead of a real camera feed. But my best attempts with that lacked expression, blinking, and took over 40 minutes to generate a response. But as I was doom scrolling YouTube that night, I came across a video by a small channel called Sugarcane Defender, who was doing the exact same project I was, and he managed to control the VTuber model using hotkeys to trigger animations and expressions. So I did the exact same thing. 
following his idea of making a plugin, but going in without his code as reference. And despite very apparent skill issues, after a whole 25 hours, we gave our AI a VTuber model. We were fast approaching 100 hours, but it was at this point that I realized that we had actually made a freaking AI VTuber. And with the final part being a web UI, I was confident we could get this done in under 100 hours because I started out as a web developer. So making a website shouldn't take me more than 7 hours. It took me 47 hours. It took me 47 hours and it wasn't even functioning correctly. I don't fucking- There's so many- There's so many things wrong with this thing. <laughs> and I still had stuff that I wanted to add before calling the prototype done. I chose to make a website in a completely new way than what I was used to. I decided to make a website in probably one of the most tedious ways practical. And I decided to completely rewrite all the work that I've done in the last five videos. They called me a madman, but I did it anyways. And I made a website that looks like it came from the 1900s, but it's got so many features built in, and the project is so much more functional than it was before. So, after 151 hours of coding and hundreds more editing, this is it. This is Project J.A. Eisen, an AI that you can fully configure and customize as a programmer, an AI that you can text and talk to on Discord, and an AI that can control a VTuber model, have subtitles, and even talk to Twitch chat. But we're nowhere near done with this yet. We've only completed the prototype, the proof of concept, the pre-alpha version. Now, we're entering the next stage, alpha 2.0. I've got so much more lined up starting with, improving the text-to-speech, and giving it long-term memory. However, it's obvious that these videos will take a long time to make, and that isn't going to change while I'm working a full-time job and still have school. So, here's my little special announcement. I'm going to be opening a Discord server, link down below, where we can hang out, ask questions, and get the latest updates on Project J.A.I. Sin. Also, I'm going to start streaming sometime in January. It will most likely be development streams, but maybe we'll also have some chill streams every now and then. Anyways, I want to thank you all for your support so far. I read all your comments, and seeing people actually find this interesting really keeps me going. So, as always, code for this version will be linked in the description. Like and subscribe to get the word out there. Leave a comment or even join the server to let me know what I could improve on. I'll get up and out of your way. Happy New Year, and see you next time.